Hello, my friends. <laughs> Hi, ladies. It's <laughs> Thursday when you'll be watching this video, but tonight, well, Thursday night, we're gonna be getting together with a few of the girls that are more local for our little Christmas get together that we've kind of revamped because of these weird times. But I didn't want anyone to miss out on some training tonight because tonight would be our team call. So here we are. Look at how pretty our background is. It's not decorated yet. <laughs> <laughs> but we wanted just to talk about what we actually talked about today on Power Hour, and we're gonna do it in like five minutes or less. So we're gonna start with a little quote that Nicole found. It's like kind of a long quote, but I just want you to like close your eyes right now and just listen to everything she's saying. Okay. God created the crafty mom to inspire creativity. He created the tidy mom to inspire comfort. He created the nurturing mom to inspire calm. He created the funny moms to inspire laughter. He created the crunchy mom to inspire health. He created the party planning mom to inspire community. But he did not create you to be all of them. So stop trying to be all the moms. Be the mom you were created to be. And then find your village to be the moms you aren't because we were all created to need each other. So Nicole actually found that last night and sent it to me last night and I think it really relates to all of us in a different way. I think by nature, by being mom, young, just like a young mom, really, a wife, whatever you do on top of that, like work, like I work a full-time job and I know many of you, many of you guys do as well. And then there's also stay-at-home moms, which is fantastic. And I think sometimes we forget who we were meant to be and who we are. I think we just get into an autopilot mode and have to show up for our kids and our spouse and we just forget that there's a reason why there we have friendships and we have a community and what do you want to add um and i think a lot of it's comparison like we see other people and we compare to their strengths and we're like well i can't do that so i must not be very good at this or whatever but we all have different strengths and we need to lean into our strengths and not compare it. Like my strengths are not Jess's strengths and that's actually why I love working with her because she's good at things that I'm not good at. And sometimes I compare even to her and say, I'm not as good as her because she's so good at this, this, and this, and I'm not good at that. Maybe I'm not capable of doing this business. Maybe I'm not capable of being good at this or being a good leader. And I think we all do that, whether it's with a sideline or a downline or an upline. Um, we just compare, but I, what I love about that little, whatever you want to call it, quote or saying, is that we all need each other's strengths to make this work, right? We all lean into each other and then we lean into our own strengths and then we don't have to do it all ourselves. And I wanted to add too, sometimes I like, I'll call Nicole and I'll be like, I could be such a better leader. There's things that I want to do to be a better leader. How can I be a better, like help support my level ones and my level twos and my level threes. And I'm like, I think she could do it better. But when it comes down to it, you guys, at the end of the day, you are exactly who your downline needs. Yes. They relate to you in a way that I cannot relate to. They're, you relate to them in a way that Nicole couldn't relate to. But the beautiful thing about this business is that we are all in it together and there's something that we all can offer to the table. So I want you to know like if you're feeling like you're failing as a leader or you can't help someone get the results that they need as far as the business goes or their health, this is where Nicole and I come in. I want you all to know that I'm always gonna be here to help support you and anybody that you're working with, um, whether that's trying to find the best results with their products or business. Nicole and I really are on team and on board with this mm -hmm. and we wanna help provide that community and that strength to raise a village, right? We always take, say that, like it takes a village to raise our kids. Like you guys, it takes a village to do plexus. To do plexus. And I don't, and that's with health results too. It's not just the business aspect of things. I want you to know that we genuinely are here to care and love on your people. So please don't ever hesitate to reach out to either of us because we want to help you get the support and the results that you're looking for. Um, with your health and with your business. But we also want you to trust yourself and we want you to know that you have strengths that none of us have and that you can be the perfect leader for your team. And you are exactly who that person needs. There's a reason why they reached out to you 
when you posted or when you shared about your health journey or whatever you did to ignite that little flame in them, they trust you, they yeah. love you. And that's what I love about this business is it's about relationships and forming that community of trust. And that's where I want this to be a part of. Like I want this to be a safe place and I want you all to know that I love each and every one of you. And I genuinely say that I've been blessed to know all of you and I know that I'm still getting to know a few of you, but I just want you to know that this is a safe place and this community is just amazing. Yep. We love you. Lean into your strengths. People need you to show up as you, not as me or Jess or anybody else. Lean into your strengths and that is what's going to make our team strong and incredible and amazing, which it already is, but it's going to just keep making it better the more that we live our purpose and our full potential. And that is all for today, you guys. I hope you have a good Thursday. I'm excited. I know Thanksgiving is next week, so we'll find a time if you would be open to that to another training next week where we can just meet up that following week, which is December 3rd, if, I, if I'm remembering right. So love you all. Love you.